was supposed to be her Christmas present, but we couldn't wait because she was so anxious for her to be done. And now it's a whole thing all over again. Am I like still sick? Every time I drink any amount of alcohol, this is only a Utah grocery beer, meaning like 4.4%. Hits the back of my throat and just makes me cough. It's so annoying, but definitely not as annoying as this. I was adding a birthmark to Bestie's doll and I thought, why don't I try to make Serenity look more realistic? Like I did really good on the details on her fingers and stuff like that. But as far as the overall paint job, I still wasn't sure in what I was doing at the time. I learned, but I don't have the patience to completely strip her. Plus with her rooted hair, I already tried to add paint when I was touching her up into the hair. Then I took her to the bathroom and brushed through her hair with a wet brush so I could get the paint off her hair. So I'm like, oh my God. first of all, stripping the paint, I always have hated that. And then the idea of completely starting over and then she's got rooted hair. I have only done another baby that way. It was a boo-boo baby that I was fixing for someone else. The hair was rooted terribly anyway. Like I was brushing through Serenity's hair and I was like, I did a really good job rooting some nice fine thin hair on her. This little comment right here from Bestie. I was like, that's adorable. I can live with that. And then one day, squirrel. There literally is a squirrel over there. Beautiful, cute suckers. Anyway, I can try to have patience for another day to actually work on her, but I definitely have to get Bestie's doll finished. I know that she's very anxious to go home to her mama. I'm just having some lunch, enjoying the warm air. It's still like freezing in the morning, but it's warming up now. Cause it's springtime. So I accidentally kind of got obsessed with learning how to paint again after I found this account on Instagram. Her artwork looks absolutely real. Like you would look at that and no question it was a real baby. She's got like skin texture and the bumps on the nose are actually little bumps. I don't know how she does it. So I was kind of excited because as I was painting Serenity over top the sealant layer and the soft touch top coat layer, it started to create this texture. And I was like, oh, this is looking really good. And then unfortunately it started to lift up the paint layers. I was wondering if I could play around with doing something to try and make some textures on her. But that's not for a little while because like I said, Bestie's doll's gotta get done and we've gotta balance around doing our other channel doing this channel, doing mommy things, doing wifey things, exercising. We're on day three of getting into this exercise every morning thing and lifting weights. It's just a three pound weight and I'm doing this 30 day shred by Jillian Michaels. At night, I guess me and hubby are gonna go on walks. So we're gonna be happy, healthy, and it's gonna be, it's, it's great so far. It actually is absolutely great minus being sore. You guys know if you've watched, I'll pin the video at the end of this one, when Serenity was finally done, our little Sienna was, she was so emotional about it. It was supposed to be her Christmas present, but we couldn't wait because she was so anxious for her to be done. And now it's a whole thing all over again. Now that I've had a beer, I've got to have a coffee. Normally I try to avoid coffees past two o'clock in the afternoon. Lately, on the contrary, because I'm so tired that I want to be alive for dinner and going on a walk later. So I've been having coffees in the afternoons, especially if I have a drink. So I wanted to hang on to Sarah today. I was even thinking about her last night and I wanted to change her. I absolutely love this nightgown on her, but I was like, I think I want to put some clothes on her. But I want to put her next to Serenity. I think they even have the same pacifier. <laughs> yep. They sure do. That's really cute. Oh my goodness. I want the babies. Oh, she just needs to be redone again. I just wanted to update. I changed her. And I'm worried that like the bow thing is like way too big on her. 
but at the same time, like I squished it down. I'm like, nah, it's pretty freaking cute. Now that I've done that, I'm like, now what? Some days I just don't know what I'm doing with my life. Oh yeah, I really need to get some makeup on. It's been a rough morning. <laughs> I'm laughing because apparently rough morning equals so tired that I can't get out of bed. I mean, that does equal rough when I'm trying to get up before the kids to get my little exercise in and I haven't even done it yet and I'm like still asleep. You hear that like hawk? Birds have been wild this morning. Oi, it is 10 o'clock and I am finally to the point of doing my workout. Normally I'm getting it done around seven o'clock, a little bit before whatever. So I'm frustrated, it's almost 10 o'clock. And I still have videos for the other channel to work on today as well. I'll see you on the other side of my workout. <sighs> ah, I'm shaking. I need to stop my exercise. I hit it like this at one point and it paused. So I missed about five minutes. So yesterday I showed my youngest what I had done to Serenity. I don't think she noticed because you kind of got to see the before. And she's like, oh, is that her birthmark? I was like, well, no, that little heart was her birthmark. But I started to think, instead of completely stripping her, maybe I would try to salvage and put the top coat on and then on that spot on her leg, I'd see if I could just replace the paint. Because, I mean, that would be a process, but not as much as a process as complete removing her paint starting over with would be. Wow, I'm so exhausted I can't even speak. <laughs> I'm so glad I waited to exercise though. I was not even awake this morning. This dog is ornery. Do you hear that? Any sound? And he does that. He's really ruining my time out here. Yuck. His mouth is wet. Yuck. Now I need to wash my hand. I got my picture though. I'm not sure what color to do with the hair or the unicorn, but it's coming along. And I'm using the scented ones. Mm -hmm. oh. I lost my orange at one point though, so I had to just get an unscented orange one. Quiet, you! Stop it! Mm, stop it! This one is cherry. Mm. Holy moly. The sun is so warm. Like it feels like a heater on my back. Mmm. It's almost too hot. But if you can see, there's a lot of clouds. So it's not constant. It comes and goes. So very, very nice. And I'm soaking it up. Because this weekend isn't going to be as nice but I'm hoping 
we can be cozy. I want to be cozy and cuddly and just is veg the word people like to use veg. I don't know, just veg. Mm. Yeah, just veg. <laughs> That was my picture. Very, very happy, bright, warm colors. And that's today, 321. Hmm. Missing a compost. I just mean this picture. I feel like it took me forever to do, but it's done. Mm -hmm. Okay. I thought I would sit down and work on Serenity since Sienna was actually fronting earlier. It's the left side of her body. I don't... I was so hopeful at first. In fact, I even started putting the top coat on her. So the biggest problem area was proving to be difficult. And I didn't realize there was so much on the back of the leg that needed touched up and then I started putting the top coat on and wherever I touched, it was pulling off paint. <sighs> Just really, really sucks. Like at this point, I would rather completely start over with rooting and all. Bountiful Baby does not sell this kit anymore. It's the Caleb kit by Heather Boneham. Sienna used to have so many dolls. She had like three and now she's down to like one. If you can imagine, she's pretty upset. The thing is, is this is such a small kit. If I just stripped the paint off, took out the eyelashes, I could start over fairly quickly. So maybe I should just do that. <sighs> okay. I'm not gonna be able to sleep until I do this. There's her beautiful little white heart. It's <laughs> tucked right in there. I don't have the patience for this. The dolls that I root, the hair on them, I never plan to redo them. I don't want to be doing this right now. That's the only reason I'm still going at this point is because the camera's on. I think they're just comes a point in my life when I lose patience for the projects that I do and I move on and try something new. I've been doing these dolls for a couple years now. I still only have blue acetone and the rubbing alcohol doesn't work as well. I didn't want to keep talking about that. I'm trying to set up different angles here. It's not working very well. One of the things that we're very upset about is Sienna's first doll, Amelia, was one from Nicole Bowling over on TikTok. Now we've since repainted her a couple of times because the first time she just smelled so strongly of secondhand smoke that we tried everything before we stripped her paint to get rid of the smell and it just didn't work. You know, we've been trying to root hair on her and it's just not working. So she's just tucked away. Well, Nicole Bowling should not have even lived past like the age of 25 and now she's 45. She had uterine cancer and then vaginal cancer and then kidney disease. And now because of all the chemo and radiation stuff, she's had to have most of her intestines removed. And now the remaining intestines aren't working. She's now on hospice basically slowly dying and because we had to repaint Amelia now we don't have a part of her to stay with us after she's gone and we're really upset about that Amelia was our favorite doll for a while and now Nicole Bowling is dying so it sucks
and we're really upset about it. And I haven't even done one tiny leg in five minutes. Like, five minutes time, I feel like I should have cleaned this up. Yeah, I think I'm done. I'm trying to do this. Really, this should just be the end of this vlog because it's kind of stupid right now. I changed her and I'm worried that like bow thing is like way too big on her but at the same time like I squished it down I'm like nah it's pretty freaking cute now that I've done that I'm like now what some days I just don't know what I'm doing with my life